Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I didn't upload last weekend, I wasn't very well. And this is the fourth time I've tried to record this because all the other times the videos corrupted. Yay! <laughs> so I basically know what I'm going to say off by heart now because I've gone over it so many times. But on a better note, my scratchy eyebrow. <laughs> On a better note, my sister's coming down for Christmas, which means there's going to be videos with her. There's going to be more interesting videos than just me sat in front of a camera talking. Because I could talk for England. But we're going to do some makeup videos and we're going to do some challenges and some tags. And it's going to be so fun. But for now, you're stuck with me. So, soz. Anyway, as you can probably tell by the title of this video, I am doing a ghost story time. Now this is true, this happened to me when I was in year 7 and I remember it like it was yesterday. It scared me poolus, really, really did scare me. But anyway, let's get into the video. So, as I said, I was in year 7 and I got off the school bus and my mum was working at a nursery at the time and the nursery was haunted. I was kind of aware but I didn't know haunted by who or what. Obviously it was a person, but I didn't know whether it was like a girl or a boy or an older person or I had no idea what it was. I got off the school bus and I went in to my mum with a boy who he was on the same bus as me and we went in and I went to the toilet because the toilets that the kids use are tiny, obviously because they're for little kids. I was 13, I was not using those toilets, so I went to the ladies' toilet. So basically, there's three rooms. You've got preschool, toddler's room, and creche. And then you've got a massive corridor outside. And then the ladies' toilets are at the very top by a cupboard. Or it was a fire exit. Still never figured it out. <laughs> and then the other end is the entrance exit, where you people buzz you in. I went to the toilets. I walked in, and there was literally two two toilet cubicles and a sink it was really small there was two doors to go through one door then there was a mirror and then there was another door and then you were in and there were two cubicles it was literally like tiny so so small i went in and i went to go to the toilet and then you, you know when someone pushes to see if anyone's on the door and like their toes pop under the door there were toes under the door but there wasn't a push it was just toes and i was like Okay, so obviously someone wants to use the toilet. There's no one in the other one, they'll just go in there. Then it clicked. The shoes were about this big. They were pink and they were sparkly light up shoes. No grown woman has feet that small and no grown woman wears shoes like that. And there was literally, I was the oldest child at the preschool and then there was mum and two other women she was working with and they were women. They were like older. No way. And no other children used that besides me and then the workers who work there. So I was like, oh my God. Trousers straight up, ran back to the room, was like, told my mum what happened, and she was like, oh, uh, okay, just stay here. None of the kids had left the room, none of the kids were out the room, none of the kids ever even went to the toilet when I went to the toilet. I was literally five minutes. So I thought, oh my God. Anyway, later that night, we were in the middle room, which was preschool, and it was the biggest room. Then there was creche one side and toddlers the other side. The cleaner was cleaning creche, which, is the, which was the one nearest the windows. And she had a yoghurt pot thrown at her. Weird. Really, really weird. But she had a yoghurt pot thrown at her, so we thought, okay, a bit strange. And then as we were tidying up, all the kids had gone, it was about half six. We were tidying up, me, mum, the cleaner, and then the, one of the ladies mum was working with was still with us. And then an old lady's face appeared on the computer screen. And I mean, it wasn't like the computer was turned on, the computer was off and it was a black screen. But then there was grey pixels. And the cleaner took a picture of it. And it was a woman's face. So obviously all of us straight away were like, oh my god, this is not good. We all were just like, no, 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 no. But then the cleaner took that picture to one of her friends who was a psychic. And the psychic was like, yeah, that's an old lady. <laughs> Yay! And there was no games of old ladies on that computer. It was kids' games because it was a preschool room. And then the next day, the that was like what the staff were talking about. And it turns out that someone had researched it 
and where the uh, preschool is, where the nursery is, there was a school and there was an old lady teacher who died at that school. Not in the school, but she worked there and she died. So she's obviously come back to there. And then the feet I saw, there was a little girl and a little boy. They died in a fire. Basically where the nursery is, then there's houses. I used to live in the house opposite the nursery. And then there's a whole row of houses next to the nursery. And they died in a fire in one of those houses in like 1990 something. And they went to school there. So they obviously, want, that old lady was their teacher. They went to school at that school that used to be there. So they're now coming back to the preschool to play with the kids. And yeah, it's quite freaky to think about. But I guess it's kind of nice. But yeah, that's my ghost story. And it did terrify me. Because that's like a real life thing that happened. I cried when I watched Paranormal Activity. I hid when I watched Ouija with Dad in the cinema. I sat on the floor behind the seats. Ah, life's fun. <laughs> that makes me sound like such a saddo. But I just don't like things like that. It freaks me the hell out. But anyway, thank you for listening to my story. Listening to me ramble on about nothing. This video has been quite short, but I thought rather than do a tag because they're getting quite boring and one after another is boring because the questions are all the same, I thought I'd do something different, something which, yeah, is different. It's just a nicer thing to film than question one, question two, which is quite tedious and quite boring. Thank you for watching my videos in december there's going to be once a week from now until then and then after christmas there might be two videos a week for the first few weeks because i need to get the ones out with my sister in and i have filmed two other ones which shh, i'm saying those are secret but you guys probably know my sister if you follow my instagram or snapchat she makes appearances all the flipping time when she's down and it's going to be so much fun it's going to be so good thank you for watching Bye!